Hello, I'm Arjan Verhoef and I'm working for Femto Engineering. At Femto, we bring simulation solutions to engineering problems. We help our customers achieve their product innovation goals with FEA and CFD consulting, software, training and support. In this video, I want to talk about the free body tool in FEMA. We often get questions about this tool, for there are quite many options in this tool and some, sometimes it's a bit complicated. I want to show you one method to use the tool. Um, there are a lot of others um, which are all covered in training sessions, like uh, the, also the basic training. Uh, but uh, with this option, you have uh, basic knowledge to use this tool. Um, first of all, um, you can see the model on my screen. Uh, it's uh, fixed at the bottom and at the top, there's a force applied in X direction. Um, let's have a look how much force there is. So we choose for our tools, check some forces. Okay, okay. And it says there is 6900 Newtons in this case applied in X direction. Okay, so then we go to the analysis edge and we go to the output request. This is necessary for using the free body results, the free body tool. Um, so in the output request, we ask for the force balance. Okay, and done. And then we solve. We wait for the results. So I have some results. You can see it over here. This is what happens. And now we're going to make a new free body. So we go to the post-processing tab. We select free body. And then we create a new free body. So a new free body. And I want to know the force which is going through a certain section and also the bending moment that section takes. So uh, I want to have an interface load and all the other options. I keep the default settings and I'll change uh, what I want later on. Okay, done. Um, first you have to select the free body, free body elements. So the free body tool determines the interface load which the selected elements exercises on the selected nodes. So first we select the elements and I select the whole section. Okay. And then I select the free body nodes, which are these one. Okay, then uh, FEMAP asks for the auto locate of the total summation factor. So I'll get a factor of all the summed forces and the location of this factor. Um, FEMAP asks if it will be at this location. Okay, now, and then you see a lot of arrows. These are all the forces per node. That's not what I want to see. So therefore, I switch off the nodal factors. Um, and then I want to see the total summation factor, it's over here. So I switch off the mesh. And then I can see in here, it has the nodes, free nodes on, I can, put it off with this checkbox. Um, there's also a minimum vector magnitude. I set it on 0 0.01. The um, default, this is um, 1 a minus 8, I think. And then you can also see there's some force in y and z direction, which is very small. So it's handy to have this one a bit larger. And then you can see um, the total summation factor 
uh, only the fourth factor is toggled at the moment of uh, 9600 newtons, which was, as we saw, the same as the applied force. So that's okay. And then uh, we want to show uh, to look to the to the bending moment, which, which is going through this section. It's just a toggle next to the force, and you can see it over there. And now I can imagine it's a bit unhandy to have only the vectors. And if you turn on the mesh again. You cannot see the factors, so that's also unhandy. Um, so it's also possible to change the location of the, uh, the of the summation factor. So, for example, I want to have it over here. Okay, then it's placed over here. And last, uh, Wednesday, the first of July, we have a user event about the what's new in FEMAP 2020.2. So if you are interested, interested in new features, please join the event. More information can be found in the description box. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to contact us via our website, femto.nl, or send an email to support at femto.nl. Our engineers are there to support you.